everybody, Wonky Puppy here, bringing you another Let's Play video inside of I Am Setsuna. Uh, so I did really enjoy learning about the game in my, my first episode. I decided I was going to do a few more of these. I probably won't do them on our my Let's Try Tuesday slot, but I'll try to sneak them in on like a Monday or a Wednesday or Friday or like one of the, the days that I normally don't do videos. Uh, but when we left off, we just made our way to this map, and now we're going to go over to Nive Island or Nive Village or whatever it's called and see exactly what's going on because we haven't been here yet. Oh. Uh, she saw me though. She says, Rasheen. Welcome, traveler. I am Rasheen. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Uh, please stay as long as you like. Okie dokie. Thanks, Mr. Welcome Wagon. <laughs> I love that. He's just barging in those doors. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, but cool. Let's, uh, let's guess we're in sack this person's chest. Uh, obtain three Athenian waters. Who are you? Uh, this carefree girl. Hey, have you been to the Falling Snow Monument? Apparently, it's just through the Dazshire Woods near the village. Uh, there are monsters in the woods, though, so I've never been. I can handle monsters. I can handle monsters. The frail-looking man. My family are very close with the family of the girl who's been chosen as sacrifice, you see. So today the day. So today's the day. Hey. <sighs> Very sad indeed. Very sad. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Um, we got some loot, so that's not so bad. Uh, yeah, but let's uh, let's keep exploring the town and see what else we can learn. Looks like there's a, a nice little well here and somebody freezing here in the cold. The stern faced old woman. Hmm. That little busybody says she worried about me. A sacrifice should have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> look at this snowman down here. It's got a, uh, it's got little antlers made out of branches. That's cute, and hair made out of some dried grass. That's cool. I, I do like that. That's, that's a nice touch. Uh, uh okay. Well, who are you? Uh, the passionate young man. She's so kind, so beautiful, absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. Uh, but now that she's been chosen as sacrifice, I guess I'll have to try and forget about her. <laughs> oh, that's sad. It's locked. Oh well, come on. Let me open it. I want it. Uncomfortable looking man. I passed through this village on my travels and took a liking to it. I ended up staying here, but the villagers aren't very friendly towards me. I wish there was some way I could win their trust. Oh, that's sad. Is there a door over here in this house? I want to go to this house. <laughs> There's another one of these snowmen over here. Wide-eyed boy. I can't tell anyone where Setsuna went. I promise I'd keep it a secret. I guess I can tell you when she gets back from the falling snow monument, though. <laughs> Well, way to keep the secret, bro. You did a really good job. Who are you? Uh, double chin man. We always thought all the monsters came here from the mainland, but that isn't the case anymore. Now they appear as if from nowhere, and their numbers grow greater by the day. Yeah, just blame it on the mainland, why don't you? Oh, here's a wise old man, looks like. Nah, <laughs> the Nye Village Chief. Her mother and her aunt, too. I saw them off just like this, too. Uh, we are powerless to do anything else. Even if, it's, if it is for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. Hmm. Mother and daughter both setting off as sacrifice. Fate is a strange thing indeed. I must at least make her some of that arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. That doesn't sound good. Cauliflower soup? I mean, I don't have a problem with cauliflower. It's good, but I don't... I, don't, I, I need my soup to have a little bit more uh, flavor to it, I think. Just one man's opinion. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't try it if they made, she made it for me. If that nice old lady made me some soup, I, I would try it. Um, but you better make it good, because you're not selling it well, calling it cauliflower soup. Just saying. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's stop talking about cauliflower soup, and instead, let's keep going through here. The kind woman. The girl who has been chosen as sacrifice is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Snow Monument to pray to the past sacrifices. Where is the Falling Snow Monument? Just past Dashire Wood. So that's like four people now that have told us to go to the shrine. So I think that that's where we need to go. And I guess we're, that's the lady we're supposed to kill. It's the one that's out there. A uh, the youthful woman says that a departure ceremony will begin soon. A journey of sacrifice made to appease the savage monsters. It's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. And who are you? Round-cheeked little boy. I guess he's a, he's, a, he's a little bit tubby. I don't mind the cold at all. Uh, one day I'll be strong enough to protect someone, like the lady in the sacrifices guard. 
Hmm, okay, so maybe she has someone guarding her is the thing we just learned. Uh, who are you? Round-faced man, the monsters have become much more ferocious lately. Even just getting back through the Dashire Woods in the Northeast is hard these days. Okay, so go through the Dashire Woods to get to the, the sacrifice. There are going to be monsters along the way, and she's going to be guarded. See, a page to talk to people. Now we're prepared. The Apothecary. Uh, let's listen to his advice first, because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. Uh, Mithril Damascus. What is all this? Hair Shuriken. Uh, along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special items. By combining these items with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you will also be able to purchase these materials from Weppy and Talus. Okay. Why not? Uh, what are these? Uh, recover the small amount of HP. Recover the small amount of MP. Remove sap status. Removes paralysis, uh, paralysis status. Removes confusion status. Revives a knocked out character. Also recovers a small amount of HP. Okay, we got a bunch of those, so that's good. And it looks like they're expensive. Uh, recovers the HP and MP of all characters. Also removes all status ailments. And Fogstone. Creates a smokescreen allowing escape from battle. Okay. Okay, we don't have any of those. We've got 10 potions though. Yeah, I really don't understand the items well enough yet uh, to to waste all my G's on them. So I don't think we're going to do that. I think instead we are going to uh, head out. So I guess I just go back the way that I came in um, and head to those woods that they kept talking about on the map. That's probably the right thing to do, right? Uh, yeah, so let's head out this way. And uh, make our way over to these woods. And it looks like there's a path. There might be a path up here. But no, it's not going to let me in there. What about this? Okay, here we go. Dash Shire Woods. Let's, let's go in there. Faux show. And, ooh. This looks like where they did that stupid title things last time. Uh, ooh, aha. Can I sneak up on them? Yeah. Nope, I did not sneak up on them. Attack. Take that, pingy. Can I block? No. He slapped me. It's okay though. Exact kill. Nice. Obtain four XP. The majestic crest and some sturdy sheet metal. So I wonder if the sturdy sheet metal is what I would use to temper things, like my weapons. It's locked. Uh, of course it's locked. Because that would make sense. Because tempering is like um is like enhancing metal things, right? I mean, I don't really know what it is, but that's what I assume it is. Uh, okay, so hit the pingy once. Oh, dive! I've never seen that before. Six? Maybe I haven't, I just don't remember. Let's attack him and knock him out. Exact kill. Alright, he is done. And I got four more experience. And uh, some another majestic crest and some more sturdy sheet metal. Nice. Uh, alrighty, let's keep going. I hope that inventory space isn't going to be gonna become a problem at any point. I was not expecting this guy. Let's do a tech. Cyclone. 26. I don't know if that does any better or worse than my normal attacks, but we are about to find out. So attack there. Add physical damage. Okay. Oh, I think I used my point. Super slap. Uh, okay. Is this enough to take him out? Hopefully. Yeah, it is. Cool. We got six experience points. I'm not sure that was worth the extra effort for, for that smooth oil. Ooh, it's not just any oil, ladies and gentlemen. It's smooth oil. All right, so we got some smooth oil from that guy, which is really creepy. And some antidotes. Nice. So I'm glad I didn't buy those because I just got a bunch. Uh, let's keep moving this way. And we got some pingies. Can we fight them one-on-one? -on -one? Nope. Let's use a tech then. Tech Cyclone. Yeah. Nice. Uh, now, I don't want to keep using techs. Ooh, you slapped me. So let's just attack one of them. Knock him out. And uh, I wish I could block. I don't know how to block. Maybe there is a way and I just don't know how. Ooh. He missed. I don't know how he missed. Maybe I did something good. Who knows? Obtained eight experience points. Okay. And uh, two majestic crests. Noise. Okay, let's keep moving then. See what's down here, maybe? Make sure I get all. Oh, it's like a cliff. Don't run down that. Uh, okay, then let's head back up this way. Like I said, I don't want to forget anything. 
Uh, looks like we made our way through the woods. Yep, we did. And I'm guessing this is that shrine. Because it looks like a shrine. A monument, excuse me. It's a monument. Not a shrine. Uh, and a uh, spinning snowflake loading wheel. I get the, the sense that I'm going to be watching that a lot. All right. Well, here she is, I think. Fair skinned girl. Well, Mom, I'll be leaving soon. I'm going to give this everything I've got. She's got a neat little, like, hairpiece on her head. Uh, I hope you can keep watching over me until the end. Aww. Her mom had to be sacrificed, and she has to be sacrificed. Now I gotta kill her so she doesn't get sacrificed. It's like, meh, meh. Who are you? Are you the sacrifice? Yeah. And you are? I don't suppose you're going to answer that. She knows what's going on. I am the sacrifice. I was chosen to give my life in the last lands, just like the past sacrifices whose names are engraved upon this monument. That is why I cannot let you take my life now. But even if you do not kill me, my life will end soon enough. When my journey comes to an end, so too will my life. That is just straight up depressing. Swing your sword. I have got a mission, lady. Sorry. I am... Do you want to change Setsuna's name? No! Is she Setsuna? I am Setsuna. See, that's the title of the game. And you are... Ooh, fireball right in your face. Well, I got attacked by Rasheen. That was the one that was nice to me earlier in the game. Uh, when we came in the village. Setsuna, are you alright? Thank goodness we made it in time. I'm sure you're very skilled indeed. But have you ever taken on two magic users at the same time, I wonder? Look at her go. I shall protect Setsuna even if it costs me my life. It's dedication. Uh-oh. I guess we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, it looks like we don't actually get an opportunity to fight for our life. It looks like we're just uh, we're just gonna get our booty kicked. Yep. Now we're, I guess we're back in that village, and we've got some sort of a a spell cast on us. Where am I? At the round face man. Yep. <laughs> so you're awake. Uh, this is the village of Knive. You were put to sleep and carried back here. Hey, come on, give it up. There's no way you'll be able to move. You've got the magical energy of two magic users restraining you, you know? And I'm gonna get up anyway, bro. No one tells me what to do. Uh, what the? Looks like you're no pushover, eh? Phew, you're just in time. Er, what was it again? <laughs> I've been here for two weeks now. Isn't it about time you remembered my name? I'm... Do you want to change... Eterna's name. I'm gonna say no. Eterna. Eterna, got it? Sorry, Eterna. Never mind that, though. Look! Exclamation point? What? How come he can get up? I've heard the stories. A mass tribe who make their living as mercenaries. You're one of them, aren't you? Why did you try to kill Setsuna? Who hired you? For generations, sacrifices from this village have given their lives in order to protect the world. You tried to kill one of those previous sacrifices. Do you even understand just how serious a crime that is? Nope. <laughs> so that's why you attacked Setsuna. You were unaware of what a terrible mistake you were making. I will protect Setsuna. I won't let you touch her no matter what. Oh god! It's gonna re-up that spell. <laughs> Just funk right into the right into the ground. Uh, you stay lying right there. Uh oh, you made her mad. It's the guillotine for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> really? In this village, they're using a guillotine on people. Do you really? Can you really afford to lose that many people? You don't have that much. Come on, at least act like you care. Talk about emotionless. Anyway, I'm kidding. We don't even have a guillotine here in the village. You got pretty lucky, though. Several of the villagers did actually insist that you be severely punished. Uh, the reason you're still alive now is that you had someone to defend you. Do you know who that was? 
No. Yeah, I'll bet you don't. You're never gonna guess either. It was Setsuna, the same person you tried to kill. The sacrifice herself asking us to spare you, no one could exactly argue. you. Uh, what a curious young lady she is. Saving the life of the very same person who tried to kill her? Once Setsuna is safely on her way, we'll let you go. Uh, that's what the village chief ended up promising her, you see. Anyway, until then, you can stay right here. Uh-oh. Whoa, what? It's the monsters! The monsters are attacking again! Exclamation point? What? Forget about that house. The only person in there is the guy who tried to kill the sacrifice. Uh, no, but still. Come on, we need to hurry up and get all the villagers to safety. Ugh, sorry. Don't hold it against me, alright? <laughs> He's just gonna ditch me. Wow. Wow. Uh, sorry I took so long. I'll take care of things. Don't worry. You get out of here. Okay, so she just kind of busted in and freed me. Um, and I'm guessing I need to join the fight and prove that I'm not an all bad guy. That's normally how these things work out. Uh, let's see... Satsuna, what are you planning on doing with him? Letting him go. What do you mean? We can't just set a Kree. He has yet to commit any crime. We can't leave him here to die. Ooh, I've already killed one of these, so I know I can take it. Ah, what now? Alright, if you want to live, draw your sword and help protect Setsuna. Eterna, join your party. Fantastic. So I guess we can control both of them? Alright, let's do attack on you. 9-9, nine, nine. so that was 18 compared to my 22. Okay. Uh, so she's not as good, but she's not terrible. She looks like she's got both more health and more magic power. Just She's just not as strong. That's fine. I guess she can do more techs and that kind of stuff. Obtain six experience points. That was actually pretty easy. We were able to take him out before he could even um, before he could even attack. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we got a slippery hide and an iron snow sand. I don't know what that means. I really don't. Uh, we need to get rid of the rest of these monsters. You help too. Sure, why not? Hmm. <laughs> Good. At least you're not arguing back. Anyway, I'm afraid saying no isn't an option. I'll help too, Eterna. No, you stay hidden, said Suna. But don't worry, it's fine. I'm going to protect you. <laughs> Let's go. If you try and run, I'll kill you. So watch your back. Oh, this is, this is such a friendly thing that we have going on between me and this person. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we got some pingies. This should be easy enough. Uh, let us do a combo cyclone on pingy. What does that mean? Does that mean she's going to do one too? Yes, yes it does. Okay, cool. I heard her charge is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'd like to get to level 3 now. Please? <laughs> Alright, let us keep moving. Oh, here's some more pingies. Uh, I think we need to do another combo. Cyclone. And charge. Oh, what, she can only do it on one? That's not good. I thought she did it on both last time. Oh, oh okay, so they're just focusing. Well, that's actually pretty good, because now we can just, uh, we can take them out pretty quick. Momentum control. 30 seconds. Nice. Ooh, we're leveled up to level 3. Items obtained. Pingy's treasure, two majestic crest, one sturdy sheet metal. So we're getting more of all those things. Um, I guess let's keep wandering about. Can I open this now? It's still locked. Darn. I was hoping maybe with this lady I could open it. Uh, but it appears not to be the case. Okay... Uh, I don't see any monsters over here. This is where we took out that other one. So I guess let's head over to this side of town. Yep, here's some more monsters. Uh, ooh, and when I leveled up, I got all my stuff back. So let's do another combo. Come on, charge! Uh, okay. Dive. Ooh, not nice, dude. Not nice at all. Let's attack the Walumpa. There we go. And it should only take one more hit to the pingy to get rid of him, right? Yeah, there we go. Exact kill. Nice. Obtain 10 XP. We got some more smooth oil. 
a Majestic Crest, and a Sturdy Sheet Metal. Very nice. Uh, looks like that was all the monsters. So what happens now? That's the last of them. Phew, seems there was no real damage to the village either. Uh, ooh, what is that? Like a dragon? Like a dragon eagle? An eagle dragon? Eagle dragon. I'm gonna call it an eagle dragon. Oh no! Well, it looks like the headline act is here. Can you still fight? Uh, of course. Of course you can still fight. Hmm, glad to hear it. She's a lot of <laughs> in her. Uh, get yourself ready. This one isn't like the others. Being a little tired out is no excuse either. We must protect Setsuna, even if it costs us our lives. Don't say that! <laughs> Setsuna! Thank you. Now I don't have to worry about anything except fighting. I don't want you risking your lives. I'm going to fight too. What are you talking about, Setsuna? I'll protect you, so just... That's right, Eterna. I need you to protect me. Exactly, so? So if you die here, how will you be able to do that? In order for you to be able to protect me, Eterna, right now, I need to protect you. Don't be ridiculous! I made up my mind. Dot dot dot. Uh, looks like nothing I say is going to make any difference. Just promise me you'll run away if it gets too dangerous. I will, together with you. <laughs> Setsuna, joy on your party! Fantastic! Okay, so now we got a party of three. Uh, and it looks like she's her special abilities might be uh, in the healing area, which is always good to have in these type of games. Uh, but for now, let's just kind of spam him with uh, attacks. Uh-oh. That wasn't very nice at all. We're going to really need to attack him as fast as we can, because his, uh, his attacks are actually pretty strong. Uh, let's see. Tech, Cure, Aterna? Oh, okay. All right, so that took her all the way up. She was the one that didn't have any damage, though. I shouldn't have done Walkie Puppy instead. Uh, he's flashing red. What does that mean? Attack. Maybe that means he's about to die. Uh, Setsuna, Setsuna needs to heal herself. Um, alrighty. Uh, okay, so tech, cure, Setsuna. Quickly. Quickly, please. Charge. Oh, let's actually do a attack on this guy. Uh, he's got to be close, right? I'm hoping, hopefully, Wonky Puppy can can close this up. Come on, it's got to be close. No. Oh, jeez. Okay, so to Setsuna is gonna be doing a cure when her turn comes up. Um, which is now tech cure on Wonky Puppy, and then Wonky Puppy's gonna attack. I don't know why she needed to. I don't know why she needed to run over there, but that's fine. Uh, oh, I need to do those momentum things. I keep forgetting about them. He's about to attack, though. Yeah? No? Uh, here we go. Attack. Momentum. Yeah. Add physical damage. Die! 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 Oh, he didn't die. Uh, oh, his attack went up too. That's not good. Add physical damage. Exact kill! Light kill! Momentum kill! Super kill! Nice! Obtained 107 experience. Wow. Uh, so I went up to level 4. Eterna is almost level 4. Uh, we got a giant feather, a blood spattered stone. Wow. And a giant egg. Uh, I don't know what any of that means, but we're getting more things and I like stuff. So there we go. Uh, don't bother trying to resist. We can't let you go until we decide what to do with you. Murder of a sacrifice is a very grave crime. Even if it was only an attempted murder, we can't just let you walk. The only reason you're even alive now, rather than inside of a monster's stomach, is that the sacrifices keep uh, monsters at bay and stop them from becoming more ferocious. If it wasn't for them, everywhere would have been overrun by monsters a long, long time ago. You almost doomed all of mankind to certain death. Do sacrifices have meaning? <laughs> if they didn't, mankind would have been wiped out centuries ago. In the shadows of history, there are people who have continued to protect all of humanity. Not that I imagine you've ever felt even an ounce of gratitude towards them at all, of course. Uh, there's no way you could possibly understand. The ritual of sacrifice is repeated over and over again in order to bring us into the future. 
Well, she's just got a lot of opinions on this, hasn't she? Ah, you're all safe, thank goodness. I heard what happened. You fought off the monsters that attacked our village, did you not? Uh, before anything else, let me thank you on behalf of everyone in the village. Now, with regards to what we shall do about you, truth be told, I am at a loss. He needs to be kept restrained until the sacrifice has set off from the village. Yes, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Please, wait. What is it, Setsuna? It's me who he tried to kill. Please hear me out. I want you to make him a free man. Let him go, you mean? No, not quite. I'd like him to join my guard. We can't do that. He's too dangerous. He's so skilled. What do you think he's dangerous? That he's so, he, If he's so skilled that you think he's dangerous, surely he'll make a very reliable companion. The sacrificial pilgrimage is not an easy journey. The more people we have on our side, the better. Right? Uh, no matter what you say, I'm still against it. <laughs> We'd be putting ourselves uh, close to a man who's even more dangerous than the monsters. If it's my life you're after, then please see the pilgrimage through to its end. If I complete my duty as sacrifice, that should also fulfill your goal, my death. <laughs> so, what say you... In light of your having protected our village from the monsters, we shall your decision. Will you remain here in the village until Setsuna departs on her pilgrimage, or will you leave on her journey together with her as part of your guard? Uh, there is still time until the departure. Once you have made up your mind, come to my house. Uh, mine is the northernmost house in the village. I shall be looking forward to hearing your reply. Uh, so, I guess we get to choose which route we want to go, but I uh, I think the right path is definitely going to be leaving with the party. Um, just because that just sounds more interesting to me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Uh, but I guess we got to talk to her first for some reason. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for asking you to involve yourself. Uh, by the way, what's your name? I didn't get a chance to ask you before. I see, so your name's Wonky Puppy? <laughs> Say, Wonky Puppy, I'm going to go to the Falling Snow Monument. Will you come with me? I suppose so. You will, thank you. You know where the Falling Snow Monument is, right? It's where you and I first met, Wonky Puppy. Setsuna, join your party. Uh, cool. So I guess that's a thing. Uh, so now we are walking around. Um... Okay, so let us head that way, I suppose. Um, actually, let me go ahead and save super quick. I think this is where we can save from, right? Let's see. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh, and went to inventory save. Uh, I think this is the one I want. Number two. Do you want to overrate number two? I do want to overrate number two. Okay. Uh, so, looking at the time, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like just to let me know that you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything that's going on with the channel. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all have a great one. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.